So first things first, today I'm going to be trying a new primer and it's the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I've heard a lot about it. Um, it's a Tasha dupe, I believe, so I'm really excited to try it. Feels a little weird. This video wasn't even going to be about trying a new primer, but here we are. It's a really nice consistency. I can tell it's going to adhere the makeup really well. If you've used this before, let me know in the comments. I know they have a few different formulas. Um, I know a lot of people complain that obviously it leaves a white cast on your face, but primer is primer. We're going to cover it up with makeup. So, hey, it is what it is. I probably look like Casper, a ghost. I have this new idea for Get Ready With Me's. Ooh, this does leave a white cast. Anyways, I was thinking in all my Get Ready With Me's, well, not in all my Get Ready With Me's, but I should do a weekly Get Ready With Me where I discuss the week in reality TV. Because besides beauty, makeup, purses, the only other thing I love is reality TV. So, drop a little comment. Let me know if you think my idea is good or whatever. I like it, so I don't really need y'all to like it, but... And let me know. I mean, we could talk love and hip-hop. We could talk housewives. I mean, we could even talk 90 Day Fiance, 60 Days In. We could talk reality. I'm a little behind on Love and Hip Hop Miami, I'm not going to lie. I'm like three episodes behind, but that's fine. You know what I mean? That's cool. Love and Hip Hop New York and like the Real Housewives of New Jersey, those are like my favorite franchises of, um, I mean, my favorite places of both franchises just because I'm from the area so I see a lot of the cast members in different places like my job I'm my job I'm always seeing um somebody famous or somebody from tv and child they don't be looking how they supposed to be looking I mean I seen Yandy from Love and Hip Hop not that long ago she was at my job I feel some sort of way because she called me ma'am. Like, girl, whoo, don't mind how pale I look on camera. We're going we to get this right. Don't you worry. But she called me ma'am. Like, girl, you was older than me. Don't try it, girl. But, you know, I just had to remain professional and assist her. Word up. I got to work on my lighting because I know that other people look really, the lighting just makes a difference, basically. But like I was saying, the box lighting and all of that, that makes a difference in the overall look of your video quality, your camera settings. Like I have to tap into the 4K on mine. So now that I have my foundation base, Let's just go in. Can't stop, won't stop. Ninety days in. I mean, I said ninety days in. 
90 Day Fiance is like the best show on reality TV because it's like grown-ups on Catfish. It's like when Catfish goes too far, like too, too far, because now you got to marry the person, bring them into the country. It's like Catfish on crack. I mean, it's entertaining. My favorite this season is probably the Nigerian guy that be singing Baby Girl Lisa. Soja Boy. Yeah. The little short guy on the show, he's definitely getting used. But I feel like everybody on the show is getting used just for a little visa, which is crazy that there'd be a whole show about. Poor Michael and Angela, like if you watch 90 Day Fiance, you know them. A little white trash Ange. She ain't never gonna get her Nigerian husband. So I wanted to do a video where my husband does my makeup. I think it would be really funny because I don't think he knows where any of this stuff goes on my face. I think he thinks he knows where it goes, but I can only imagine what I would look like. I'm sure I wouldn't be. That good. Now I'm just concealing underneath my eyes. L'Oreal Infallible. This is in the color... I switch them up. This is in oatmeal. I switch between oatmeal and biscuit, depending on my mood. So now that I have that there, looking crazy. I gotta figure this out because I don't even really look like this in real life. Like I don't even look like this. Like I look. Oh well, I'm just gonna go ahead with a damp, a damp beauty blender and blend that out. What's going on on growing up hip hop? Like all I know is Sam is not straight, he's not gay. I'm not here to judge. I just feel how twists feel. Like, but what is you? We just, you know what I mean? We need to know. He's weird. I mean, hey, I just feel like you can't propose to somebody dressed as the Joker. I just feel like that's a joke in itself. Like, that's just a joke. Like, I mean, hey. And I think the little, um, what's the other girl name on that show? The... The niece that thinks Sam want her, I think she just crazy. Cause I don't think nobody want her. Lightly baking underneath my eyes. Sorry, I had to answer a text. Nobody respects the um, I'm recording thing. While I'm baking that, before I go in with my blush, I'm just gonna go ahead and do another coat of alabaster powder. I'm really not this light in real life. It's starting to get annoying. Pop on blush, I always say you're really not dressed until you put on blush. I mean, I could spill some TDI about some of these um, celebrity celebrities, I guess you could say. Like, I got a crazy Cardi B story time that I've been holding in for like, it's over a year now. I just, you know what I mean? 
ever since having liked the girl. Yeah, get me to 200 subscribers. I'm going to drop the story. I'm going to drop the story, Tom. And trust me, yeah, I want to hear it. So before you forget, share this video. Tell your friends to subscribe. I'm at like, let's see what we at right now. Are. At the time of recording this video, that video, I'm at 64 subscribers. So give me the 200 subscribers and I'm going to drop my Cardi B story time. But I was going to say, I could give y'all a lot of tea about how some of these people be having bad skin in real life, bad manners, looking a hot ass mess. But on TV, on camera, on Instagram with these Facetune apps and, you know, things like that, everybody just look, everybody look great all the time. And it's a little misleading because nobody looks great all the time. So now that I have that on, I'm going to go ahead and do my highlighter. I'm actually going to use a new brush, a new highlighter brush. I was going to do a video of like all new things, but then I was like, I want to do a video about reality TV, but I want to do a video. So I was like, let me just, you know what I mean? So this is the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild collaboration highlighting brush. And I'm just going to go ahead. I thought it was really cute. I actually wasn't going to use it as a highlighting brush, even though it is a highlighting brush, but it is what it is. I'm going to go in using a Tarte highlighter and A-lister. Yep, A-lister. And I'm just going to apply the highlighter to my cheekbone. I feel like loving hip hop, I mean, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Let Kenya wear her damn wig, Marlo. Like, you know what I mean? Let the girl wear her wig. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what this brush is meant to do, but it's not doing what I need it to do. So, we're going to get rid of that. We're just going to go back to my favorite MYX. NYX, whatever you call it, fan highlighting brush. I don't know, that brush was just not it. That brush had a really good feel, but it was just not it for highlighting. I'll find it for you, sir, and I am sure. Ever since I broke my Becca champagne pop, like, the same day I bought it, I fixed it with rubbing alcohol. Y'all know that trick to fix y'all broken shadows and palettes? Comment below if you don't know the trick. I'll put y'all on, save y'all a coin. Y'all can fix all y'all broken little things. But I just haven't... It was like it wasn't meant to be when she fell in love. It was like, girl... Now I'm going to go ahead and set my face with setting spray before doing any of my wet products like mascara, doing my lashes. I'll probably add a little bit more highlight and before doing my lips. I know whenever I don't wipe the makeup off my lips, it looks like I have no lip. <laughs> I have one, okay? If y'all want me to vlog in Botox and lip fillers, comment below because I'm going to vlog it anyway, but you know. Handy Dandy NYX NYX. And then this is my new thing. Okay, cuz baby. This is how we set our makeup now. Okay. Hey, Lavette. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry. Go ahead and change my shirt. And then I'll be back to put on my lashes, my lip, and then I'm out the door. Now I'm gonna move on to lips and lashes, but while I get my lashes ready, I'm gonna use the Milani Sugar Lip Scrub. And I know the other day, if you haven't checked out my setting spray video, make sure you check it out. But I didn't have a lot of things nice to say about Milani setting spray in that video. And then I was reminded my absolute favorite sugar scrub in the world is the Milani Sugar Scrub. So. Definitely, definitely, definitely a must-have.
I usually do the step before my foundation, but I forgot. Then you just go ahead and wipe off all the dead skin and sugar. Be really neat because your makeup is done. Coat of mascara before I put on my lashes. I used to put on my mascara after I did my lashes, but it really like dirties the lashes and it just makes it so much easier to do it before. So that's my little tip for that. I'm gonna be doing, wearing rather, the Ardell Mink 3D Fox Faux Mink and in the number 854. I've never worn these before. They're giving Streetwalker vibes. I'm gonna put the glue, I'm gonna put glue on the lash, let it dry, well get tacky, and line my lips while it's getting tacky. I'm still waiting for the eyelash glue to get tacky. This is Honey Love by MAC. I need a new one. This is the final look with the lashes on. I personally don't like it, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my lashes off and just do a regular mascara and mascara curl look for the day. These are a little too dramatic. I'm only going to the mall today and these are like super, I said they were gonna be street walker-ish if you like rewind a few seconds back. I said it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, get dressed, and then let you see how it looks so this is the final look without the lashes. I took them off. I need 10 likes for this guy to do my makeup in a video. If you want to see him, try to beat my face. Drop a comment. 10 likes and I'm going to make him do it. Like, I'm going to make him do it. I'm sure it's going to be entertaining. So share this video because I want to see what he could do. Okay? So this is the final look. Thank you for getting ready with me. You already know the drill. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Leave me a comment. And you already know if this video gets 10 likes, just 10 likes, my husband is gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna make him do it. So please make sure you like this video. Please make sure you like this video. If you aren't already following me on Instagram, head over there, follow me there. You also got another job. Get me to 200 subscribers to get the real story time. So y'all got some homework to do, but thank you for watching this Get Ready With Me. And I'll be back next week to talk more about reality TV shows and to get ready with me. I think that's going to be our weekly thing as like, you know, one of my contents, one of my weekly contents. We're just going to talk about reality TV. So thank you again.